Rage on that beat, going crazy. Yes, people, what's good and welcome back to the channel, guys. So, a couple of updates to the system, guys. I have added some more corals, like I said in my last video, and they're mostly tenuous and milliporous, guys. So, I've got a couple of um, um, tenuous acros here and a couple of millis at the top. Um, I also have some, um, you know, other spicy corals here, like some shortcake in the middle there as well. Now, the system in general is doing quite well. Um, I mean, I'm holding my alkalinity about 8.8 .8 at the moment, and it's settled there for the last three weeks, and um, calcium's um, peaked around um, 470 and goes down to about five, uh, 450 um, yeah, yeah, over a couple of days. So within that that range, I haven't touched anything. The only thing I've started dosing, guys, I've started dosing uh, a new product called Oshimo. Now, Oshimo um, is a, a two-part solution. It's uh, out of Europe, and my friend Darren um, recommended that I go on this product. Now, since dosing that, I realized my pH throughout the day peaks around 8.35, and then at nighttime, it goes down to around 8.35. Two, yeah. So I think my pH is a bit more stable with this product. I'm still running a CO2 scrubber on the system, and that um, as well helps with maintaining good pH. Now, uh, in general, the tank's doing quite well. The um, torches in this little corner here is doing quite well. Uh, that gonopora has actually grown quite a lot, so I have ordered um, a, a frag tile to actually put it on there so we can base out and be off the sand bed. And the um, a can in the back there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I need to put that on another uh, frag tile as well. Um, I am toying with the idea of getting um, maybe a clam for the back here as well, so the sand bed's a bit more filled out, a bit more color. Um, and that is it for now, guys. Um, the algae that I've, well, I was having issues with, that's all gone, and that's due to this, this bad boy here. Yeah, I think I showed you guys this, this fish before, and um, that is kind of like my favorite tang ever. Tomini tang, as soon as I got this guy, he started going to work straight away on the algae in the system. So amazing little tank, guys. Now, another thing about Oshima that I'm going to start doing as well, I'm going to start dosing their regulator. And the regulator, it's one is for a minor trace element. So um, what we usually dose into our system through dosing, gets really depleted quite quickly um, with just normal dosing. So we need to supplement those um, throughout the day. So Oshimo do the um, A and O regulator. A, um, I believe, contains um, all the trace elements, like I said. So we topping up, keeping it at a good, decent level so the corals can access it. And then O has about 22 amino acids that can um, help with coral growth, um, coral energy, and help with the microfauna in the tank generally. So it's like an all round approach to dosing. So I will not have to physically do drops again. I can just literally dose uh, point, um, one mil every um, day before lights out of um, Oshimo A and O regulator. Uh, and also with the um, Oshimo um, regulator, it's recommended that I do um, work my way up to um, 0 0.5 mil a day and that's supposed to be done before um, lights out. So what I'll do is I'll just take my time, yeah, um, maybe do 0 0.1 um, for maybe two or three weeks, uh, send out for an ICP test and then increase as I went. So when I find my sweet spot, just maintain that and um, every two or three months, yeah, do ICP as usual. Now I firmly believe the reason I'm seeing um, progress or seeing results from Oshimo, just like ATI, another wicked product, um, is just stability, yeah? So I ensure a couple of things. I ensure my um, water, it's always RDI water, zero TDS, that's the source, needs to be pure, pure as possible. Then um, I use uh, um, salt, good, good salt, so I use um, Aquaforest Reef Salt, and I've been using that for quite a, a number of years now, and that seems to really help my tanks along. Um, check on my dosing as well I'm using the trident like I can't stress this enough if you have a trident or somewhere to monitor your parameters like a calcium um, alkalinity and magnesium use that device so if I realize my alkalinity is going too high uh, just my dosage same as calcium so I'm within my range not a particular number just a range so if you're 450 to 500 ensure you're within that range and that will be your keep your tank stable basically pH is another important one yeah so make sure your pH is going above that 8 or 8.1 yeah to about 8.4 if you can right so when you're in sevens and that that's not a good place to be you need to be 8.1 and above in my opinion 
So another thing that has what led me into more success is since I adjusted my lighting, yeah, ensuring that my um, SPS are getting that 200 to 300 part and LPS are getting below that, the corals seem to just love it. I mean, touch wood, I've, every coral I've put in here is doing well so far. Even this coral here that you can see, let me just zoom in a little bit for you, this bad boy here, that yellowish greenish uh, coral there, um, that thing lost all this color, the majority of its color because it was getting about like that 600 par. Since lowering it um, over the last say three weeks, yeah, this thing has, you know, colored up again and I've mounted it diagonally, yeah, underneath this stylo hair, um, this um, Amelie hair, so it will grow and take up that empty um, real estate right there. And, you know, don't panic too much. I'm not panicking um, because corals will grow out, but it's down to me to frag and maintain them to prevent them from touching each other or stinging each other, yeah? So I'm just gonna really have some TLC um, applied to each coral on here so it has this little buffer zone, if you may. So um, the, the patterns it develops or the area it occupies doesn't encroach on other corals too much, yeah? So, you know, a bit more um, TLC or a bit more attention to the detail in this aquascape compared to the last chaotic one. Now, another thing I had um, my friends at Aquaprint sort out for me is another um, wear box cover. Yes, yeah, so the last one or the original one that came with this system, I had to hack it up so I could fit the um, RMS bracket for the um, the Radeon. But since I've gone for the across the tank kind of method, if you see this here, I don't need that big gaping hole anymore. So I hollered at them, give them my dimensions, and they created something with my logo on there for me. So this is blue with the back and black backing um, and fitted really nicely on there. Um, the next thing I'm gonna probably do is probably get the um, return nozzle and the uh, comb out, put it in some um, citric acid, get all that cleaned and everything and put it back on to uh, you know make, make the tank a bit more presentable. Yeah, so this is a general update to the tank guys. Um, everything's going well. Um, I'll let you guys know how I get on with the um, Oshimo and the um, regulator A and O as well. Uh, to see, sh show you guys the results. Um, check out my Instagram. You probably see pictures of corals there that um, are growing or colorations of different coral patterns and that so yeah guys that is it for now all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe yeah see you next time